Hi there, I'm Casey Subak. I'm a 23-year-old aspiring actress from Baltimore, Maryland, and um, I graduated in 2012 from Towson University with a Bachelor's of Science in uh, Theatre. Um, I've primarily done stage work. It's what I've had most experience in, but um, I'm looking forward to doing a little bit more in uh, film and television, and uh, especially in voice acting, and doing... Um, Commer- not commercials, um, cartoons, and uh, uh, maybe even the video games. That would be a lot of fun for me. Um, I've had experience in film and television. I've done extra work, um, but I haven't had any real experience in voice acting. I mean, I can, you know, make up a couple of voices and, you know, do those. And uh, I did take a, a speech and dialect class in my senior year of college, so I kind of... Uh, can do a couple of things. I can do a little bit of between the walls, if you'd like. Um, but I uh, would really like to learn, or what I have learned most through education is that I um, think that I would do most well in film and television and voice acting. I think that's just a, a style that um, I would do best in. I just think, you know, it clicks a little easier with me. It's a little more you know, something that makes sense to me that I kind of get. It just kind of works. It's like, um, I don't know, you know, but I'm not that to say that I never want to, you know, not do stage again. I love doing stage theater, but, uh, I'd like to try my hand at doing, uh, more principal roles and, um, you know, really getting into voice acting is what I'd really like to do. And, um, you know, of course, uh, you know, going to college was, you know, it was helpful and I learned a lot, of course, but um, I just think that vo- doing voices especially, like I think voice acting is something that um, just gels with me and the type of actor that I am. Um, I've done voices ever since I was little, pretty much since before I can remember. And uh, people would ask me, you know, how do you uh, do that? Can you teach me? And I'm like, eh, not not. Not really. I can't really tell you how to do these voices. They're just something that is instinctual. Of course, after learning uh, in my class, I have kind of understood how to tell someone how to do it and how to teach. Um, but, you know, beforehand, before I took these classes, I was kind of like, mm, I just do it. It's an instinctual thing. Um, but I really just think it's it's a fun thing for me in my first uh, acting class in college, I actually was nominated as most likely to star in my own cartoon. And like, that was really cool for me. And it was really kind of eye opening because I was like, cartoons, huh? That's like a thing that I could do. And of course, it was just, you know, something that really opened my eyes. And I was like, hmm, cartoons, voice acting. I didn't really think of that. I thought about it in the back of my mind, but I didn't really think about it. Like, as a thing. (laughs) Um, In college, I actually did um, two plays that were dialect heavy, that that required a dialect from me. The first one was a student written production that um, required a British dialect, a Victorian RP, as well as a GPS type voice. Um, I was to play a British robot, which of course have has a voice like this or very similar um putting the two together sounded a little bit like this and what was really great about it was that you know (laughs) i was doing it live every night but people thought i was recording so that was pretty fantastic to me the other one that i did was a southern accent which you've heard a couple times already um and specifically tennessee uh narrowin tennessee dialect um and uh, we get we got a little bit of instruction on how to do it, but uh, I kind of just did it instinctually, I guess. <laughs> being from Baltimore, being from Maryland, you don't really have a southern accent. I mean, you're like kind of southern, but not really. So I uh, don't know where it came from. But um, my personal favorite dialect today is actually an Irish dialect. It's uh, a Donegal Irish. I actually learned it during one of my classes. And um it's just something that I've taken to, like a duck to water. You know, I just really enjoy doing it. And um, it's just something that I slip into constantly. And it's probably one of the things that I'm uh, best known for. Uh, I also do Russian accent. And I sound a little bit like Natasha from Raki and Bullwinkle. Um, and that's one of my other favorite accents. I don't really have an accent that, like, 
I, I love more than the others. I just have them that I do more frequently. Um, and of course, I can do other things like, Oui, monsieur, oh la la, you know, something that is like this, a little bit more uh, characteristic, uh, caricaturistic, <laughs> um, stuff like that. I'm always constantly working on new accents and dialects, and I'm trying to, you know, develop a little bit deeper into what I can do and trying to get a little bit more in the lower range and like a little more like cartoony uh and then of course you know going all the way up to the top you know so like I'm trying to work on extending my range a little bit and doing a little bit more but um that is all I got for right now um I hope you enjoyed watching just a little bit of what I can do and a little bit of sample of it um I hope to have more videos out that just talk about and feature each dialect or each character voice individually but um i hope you enjoyed watching thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll see you next time